there guys, welcome to the meat shop. Thanks for clicking on. This video is part of a special video series inspired by you guys. I've been asked before for a recipe or sausage book, which I don't have, so I thought I would share my favorite book with you, which is Home Production of Quality Meats and Sausage by Stanley and Adam Marinsky. It is my favorite book. I think it's got great information in there for beginners and experts alike. And uh, to celebrate my favorite book, I reached out to Stanley Marinsky and he gave me permission to do Marinsky March. So we're gonna do a recipe out of this book every day of March. And all the recipes and all the processes are right out of the book, which will be in the link below. That is a link to the book will be in the description down below. So, without any further ado, let's get into Marinsky March. Hey there guys, welcome to another episode of Marinsky March at DH Custom Sausage. Today we're making, I think, I'm gonna take a guess that it's the Stan and Adam's favorite recipe because they talk about, they got a whole page dedicated to the Polish hot smoked sausage and uh, what's supposed to be in it. Uh, so that's what we're making today. I couldn't go do Marinsky March without making the Polish sausage, I don't think. Um, so reading from the Polish sausage, just the description that's above the recipe on page 267. Polish smoked sausage consists of pork, salt, pepper, garlic, and an optional marjoram. This is the hot smoked version known all over the world, which is much easier and faster to make than the cold smoked virgin, version that is that was more popular in the past. So there we go. It's gonna be awesome and it's gonna be easier and faster. All pork, which I got here, it's gonna be a two textured sausage. We got some really lean pork on this side, a little bit fattier pork on this side. Lean pork is gonna be a bit coarser. This, fat, this fattier pork is gonna get finished on a, what are we doing? A 3 16th plate, so it's gonna be quite a bit finer to fill the gaps between the coarse lean bits of sausage. It's gonna have that garlic, all that stuff. It's gonna, really gonna pop. I make these in the store and they're popular. So let's grind the coarse pork. All right, just got the grinder set up, got my coarse plate on there. I was doing a little grinding earlier. Got it nice and snug. Throw that beautiful, here let me show you this meat. Let me show you this meat. There you go guys. Lean pork on this side, fattier pork on this side. I'm gonna run this through right now. Okay, we got it all tossed in there. Fire away. Nice lean pork, trimmed off all the connective tissue so it's gonna be good and tender. Cause I'm only gonna run it through once, I think the recipe calls for. That's right, I'm gonna run it through once, so. Easy peasy. I'm gonna run that fat pork through there as well and then through the uh, fine plate because I don't think this will go through my fine plate on the first go around without smearing, so. Meat's nice and cold by the way guys. Just pulled it out of the cooler which is pretty close to zero degrees Celsius, 32 Fahrenheit. Run that a little bit. Oh yeah, that's where all the juice is gonna come from. If you see the color difference there, that stuff was nice and pink and it's got that white creamy fat look. I'm excited for these. I love these sausages. First pass done. Do that second fine grind. Then we can mix in our spices. All right, got her on snug. Load this back in for the second run through the grinder. Here we go. When I'm doing the smaller plate, guys, I usually just trickle feed in. You can't see my hand, but I just trickle feed in the uh, pork so it comes out nice and smooth. So when I'm feeding it, guys, I just feed it just a little bit at a time. That's what really is. I think it's quicker in the long run than pushing down on that plunger nonstop. All right, guys, so as I just wrap up grinding here, I realized I put the wrong plate on. That's one size too small. So, I'm not perfect. I'm not a perfect guy, but it's, so we're gonna have, this is a little bit leaner, or sorry, a little bit smaller diameter than it's supposed to be, but we're gonna have to live with it. It'll be fine though. It'll still be good. All right guys, so we got the two ground piles of pork, one fatty and fine, one lean and coarse. I'm just gonna toss them together a little bit here. And then you just add all the spices and mix till you get some good protein extraction uh, along with some water. Spices here first. Mm -hmm. 
I love the smell already. I can tell that these are going to be tasty already. Okay, got that mixed around there a little bit. Then we'll add a little bit of water for juiciness and spice distribution. Cold water, that is, according to the book, because we don't want any bacteria growing from hot water. Hot will also melt the fat and cause it to smear. That's a yummy, yummy looking meat block, guys. So the step after this is we're gonna load it into the stuffer and stuff it into 32, 36 millimeter hog casing. So just a little bit larger diameter than your hot link or smoky size. So I'm gonna let you guys have a look at this meat block. All right, look at that meat block, guys. That beautiful texture difference in there. You can see those little bits of pepper. It's gonna be good. I'm gonna get it stuffed. And then we'll start the smoking. All right, so I just loaded the Polish hot smoked stuff into there. I packed it in pretty aggressively to try and push out all of the air pockets. Now I just got some casings over here. They're just a little bit bigger than what the book calls for, but uh, that'll be fine. Gotta use what you got, right? You can do these into any size casings really if you want, but. Okay, so I just take two fingers, guys, between the sausage casing, scoop some water into it, and feed it onto the horn. These sausage casings were I just popped them in there about a half hour before I started this. You don't gotta soak them overnight. Okay. Just a little guy there. Hopefully there's enough to do the job. A bigger sausage, bigger diameter sausage casing usually is. So I just pinch hold the first little bit back. I don't tie a knot or anything. You want to pinch and make sure you can pinch about maybe a quarter of the way through at the most. Look at that. Even though I got the text, the the fine grind plate wrong, that still looks really good. Really, really good. And smell the garlic and marjoram. Oh, okay, there's the end. Link these guys up into foot long links. Is that about a foot long, guys, do you think? Gonna be close enough. Foot long link. Spin one, two, three. Spin towards yourself. One. Two, three. These are gonna be awesome. Big, they're gonna be big, long, mahogany, garlicky, marjoram, pork fat, dripping and juicy, flavorful goodness, Polish sausages. So there we go, guys. That's them all linked up there. I have the smokehouse preoccupied right now. Otherwise, we would hang them on sticks for a little while to let them dry and put them in a preheated smokehouse. But I'm gonna pop them in the fridge tonight. So they're gonna sit overnight, which is fine and uh, we will smoke them in the morning. Okay, there's our Polish sausages, guys. Fresh out of the cooler, I let them marinate overnight. Uh, and they're looking good. Cure is definitely, curing process has definitely happened. You can tell by the color of the meat. It's gone from that kind of pink color to that gray. You can see the little coarse bits in there all cured up, looks really good. So, but at this step here, guys, for the Polish sausage, we're gonna let it dry at room temperature for an hour or two. Probably more like an hour because I lack patience sometimes. And then we're going to pop it into the smokehouse and hot smoke it till it gets a nice smoky color on it. And then uh, cook it, bake it till it hits an internal temperature of 69 degrees Celsius. So that's like 155-ish Fahrenheit. Then give them a cold water shower and enjoy our Polish sausages. So they'll hang for an hour. Okay guys, so the sausages, they were drying for an hour. And now we're gonna pop them into the smokehouse, let them dry just a little bit longer, and then start hitting them with smoke and bringing that temperature up. I'm gonna insert my probe into one of the sausages. This little nubby guy over here looks perfect. Actually, we'll go with this big Polish sausage here. There we go. Then we can monitor the temperature of the smokehouse without opening the door. So let's get the smoke rolling. Okay, so the Polish sausage alarm just went off, which means it hit 155 Fahrenheit there. So I'm going to crack this door open, give it a cold water wash to cool it down right away, let it drip dry overnight uh, with the cooler fan on it, and it's, that bloom should come back so we can crack into the Polish sausage. All right, guys, so you can see the Polish sausage here. It has hit temperature, 155. Got some other lovely sausages in there. All got some nice heavy smoke color on them. So I'm just gonna pop them out now and give them a cold water rinse. 
All right, guys, so it is the next morning and it is the moment I have been waiting for. We finally get to dive into one of our Polish sausages here. Let me show you how they look sitting on the smoke stick. So next morning here, that nice bloom has come back. They look divine and we're going to dive into them right now. Nice and firm, looks good. Okay. See the little bits of pepper and whatnot throughout there? These are going to be good, I'm sure of it. Mmm. Show you guys a little close up before we have a bite. You guys can't smell this right now, but the garlic is hitting my nose and it is delicious. So it's a little bit of fine stuff in between, just a little bit finer than it should have been because I put that little bit finer grinder plate on, but I think that's okay. Kind of highlights the other chunks of pork, but let's dive into this. All right. That's really good, really, really good. The texture difference is awesome in that. Simple and delicious. That's so good. Yum. You guys gotta get the book and make yourself some Polish sausage, some hot smoked Polish sausage. It is delicious. And this wraps up the episode of the hot smoked Polish sausage from Marinsky March. So thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe and we'll make a video like this every day this March.